My research focuses on crowds and crowd behaviour and the research that I got the award for was to do with crowd behaviour in emergencies and how it's successfully managed in a particular kind of emergency response. Well, I was originally motivated purely by the science, but having done the research, a number of practitioners became interested in what we were doing, one of which was Public Health England. They wanted to solve a problem around mass decontamination, which is a procedure which happens when there's a chemical or biological incident. And when that happens, there's a procedure which involves showering people to decontaminate them. And all the practices and procedures up until that point had completely neglected the crowd, neglected people's behaviour, neglected people's psychology. Well, a number of people have benefited from our research so far. I mean, one of the agencies involved is the Fire and Rescue Service in Britain. The others include some health departments in the United States and a number of agencies around the world concerned with decontamination. And my advice for researchers who are thinking about impact is to consider first who might be the beneficiaries. Once you've considered that, then you need to think about the vehicles and the pathways and the mechanisms. So we talk about engagement, we talk about dissemination, and they're slightly different things. I put together a short summary of research findings from a particular project and simply sent it out in the post to a number of different addresses. Some of these people wrote back to me and said, we'd like you to speak at our event. Speaking at their event then allows you to have conversations about, well, how can these ideas actually be used by you? So there are those stages, I think, to achieving impact.